वेलकम टू ऑडियो वीडियो सिस्टम प्ले लिस्ट हियर इन दिस सेशन आई एल बिगिन दिस प्ले लिस्ट विथ फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज साउंड सो हियर वी आर डील विथ टू डिस्कस साउंड नाउ लेट एस हैव सेशन आउटलाइंस फॉर दिस सेशन सो फर्स्ट आई एल डिस्कस बेजिक्स ऑफ साउंड देन वी विल सी propagation of sound and then we will see velocity of sound then i'll explain measurement of sound so how many ways are there to have a measurement of sound that we will see <coughs> so first agenda let us begin this with that that is basics of sound now see sound is considered as pressure wave so basically it's propagating based on pressure difference that's why it is referred as pressure wave so sound is referred as pressure waves sound is a longitudinal waves so as amplitude of oscillation that is in the direction of propagation that's why sound is considered as longitudinal waves for humans sound waves are there in the range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz so for human beings sound waves that is there in the range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz so we can listen only this frequencies 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz we cannot listen beyond this frequency so we consider this sound range that is there in the vicinity of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz in general females are having higher frequency tones compared to the males so usually when we talk at that time females voice that can reaches to longer distance while in case of males the distance cannot travel to longer distance compared to female so males needs to speak bit loudly compared to females so female frequency tones that is there with higher frequency compared to the frequency with to males that's why females voice that goes to larger distance now see sound is a sensation we perceive when vibration in air are detected by our ears so sound is a sensation that we perceive when vibrations in air are detected by our ears <clears throat> our ears converts these vibrations into electrical impulses and these impulses are transmitted to our brain via nervous system so usually what happens is like whatever vibration that happens in air that will get detected by our ears and these vibrations are getting translated into electrical impulses and these impulses are transmitted to our brain via nervous our nervous system and our brain can differentiate this sound by having major three characteristics pitch timbre and loudness so this three basic definition of sound that we will see later in parameters of sound so by using pitch timbre and loudness we can understand the characteristic of sound so usually whatever vibration which is happening in air so that is getting detected by our ears and this is getting converted into electrical impulses and these impulses are getting transmitted to our brain via nervous system and our brain then differentiate characteristic of sound based on pitch timbre and loudness so basically how sound wave propagates so here for that i have tried to explain see sound wave propagation that is happening based on condensation and rare fraction condensation means compression so compression of uh, molecules that is happening here you can see over here is even compression of molecule is there and over here density of molecule that is less one can see here so density of molecule that is less 
so where rare fraction is there and density of molecule that is more over here so where you will be finding compression is there so this compression and rare fraction that is pushing air and that is because of pressure difference whenever you see compression is happening there will be higher pressure and whenever you see rare fraction is happening there will be lower pressure so basically this pressure difference will push air particle and that will make propagation of sound so whenever you observe sound is propagating like this one can see here in this direction sound that propagates you can see it is propagating in this direction right now when it propagates at that time whenever compression is happening you can see amplitude is high and whenever rare fraction is happening you can see amplitude is low so this is how sound wave propagates in this space so whenever compression happens amplitude is high and whenever rare fraction happens amplitude is low so at that time one can see sound wave propagates in the space and that we can understand based on this basic understanding and one more thing that we need to understand that is whenever sound wave propagates it propagates based on pressure difference and amplitude of oscillation that is there along with the direction of propagation so as amplitude is there along with the direction of propagation so if i say this is the direction of propagation so amplitude that is there in the direction of propagation so amplitude will happen like this so as amplitude is there in the direction of propagation sound wave is considered as longitudinal waves so this is how sound wave propagates it propagates based on compression and rare fraction and in sound wave it propagates based on compression and rare fraction as well as its amplitude of oscillation that is there in the direction of propagation so it is considered as longitudinal waves now velocity of sound so velocity of sound that is directly proportional to square root of temperature so basically velocity that is based on temperature here we need to consider temperature in terms of kelvin so whenever velocity to when whenever we are deal with to calculate velocity we need to see what is the temperature and based on that we can understand what will be the velocity of sound like see for example if i say at 20 degree celsius velocity is 344 meter per second so i need to convert this temperature temp 20 degree celsius into 344 meter per second and then all i need to do is i need to calculate velocity let us say if it is been asked like velocity at 40 degree celsius so in that case v1 by v2 that we need to place is equal by square root of t1 by t2 and then we can further calculate velocity by substituting values so that is how we calculate that now measurement of sound so basically sound can be measured in terms of db with respect to pressure as per this basic definition pressure in terms of db for sound that is 20 log p by p0 where p is pressure in terms of pascal or one can say in terms of newton per meter square and this p0 that is reference pressure and that is 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 newton per meter square so that is how we can have sound measurement in terms of db with pressure then we can measure sound in terms of db with respect to power as per this basic formula where this sound in terms of db for power calculation it will be 10 log of w by w0 where w that is given power in terms of volt and w0 that is a reference power with respect to that power we measure power in terms of db that is 10 to the power minus 12 volt and even we can measure sound in terms of db with intensity 
and that we can calculate as per this basic formula where intensity of sound in terms of db that is 10 log of i by i0 where i is intensity in terms of volt per meter square and i0 that is 10 to the power minus 12 volt per meter square that is reference intensity with respect to what we calculate sounds intensity so this is how we calculate sound with different parameters so basically 